Hi, my name is Tracy Butler and I'm the Director of Leads to Learning. I would like to share a book with you called I Can Hear You But I Don't Know What You're Saying. This book was written by someone very dear to my heart, my son Ben. My journey in this field began in searching for a solution to help him overcome his difficulties. Obviously, I had a fiery passion that I now see in many of the parents that I work with. It's come full circle with Ben producing this book for his Year 12 research project. He says in the beginning of it, my school years are drawing to a close, but if this book can help another person have a less frustrating path through their school years than I have had, then I know that I have made a valuable difference. Some of the areas that Ben covers in the book are providing an understanding of auditory processing and all that it brings to the table. Simply put, auditory processing is what the brain does with what it hears. And there are many different skills of auditory processing. One of them is sound localisation, being able to identify where a sound is coming from. A good example is when your mobile phone is ringing and you're trying to locate it. Often we go in the opposite direction. For a child, it means the ability for them to feel safe and to have the expectation of where sounds are coming from. If I lack that ability, I'm often going to be in quite a highly stressed state and potentially in that fight or flight state. Auditory discrimination is being able to discriminate those just noticeable differences in words. Um, auditory cohesion is a really big one that affects our social skills. And that's being able to understand the intonation in the way that words are said. So for example, if I said, I want another mother, versus I want another mother, if your brain can't process the different intonation in the way that I've said that sentence, you get two completely different meanings from it. So you can see how it would have a big impact on social skills. Auditory attention is another one, and that's the ability to attend to one particular sound source and ignore competing sounds that might be going on in the background. Things have certainly improved in the last 15 years since Ben's journey began, but still many children are lost in the cracks as a lack of understanding is still evident between teachers and parents. Ben's hoping that the book he produced will give you a basic understanding of auditory processing and the behaviours that it can cause a child to exhibit. If you're interested in having your own copy of I Can Hear You But I Don't Know What You're Saying, you can go to my website www.linkstolearning.com.au and go to the online store to purchase. I encourage you to give it to your child's teacher at the beginning of each school year to give them a basic understanding of auditory processing and all that it brings to the table. Remember, you're not alone and together we can make a difference.